Well, hello world and welcome to another Funza Academy fun math video. Before introducing today's problem, can I please request you to subscribe to this channel and also tell your friends about it. We make weekly math videos. So today's problem involves finding four unknowns. So here's the problem. In this figure, we have four result values, 13, 8, another 8 and 6. And we have four unknowns, say A, B, C and D. We know certain operations between the unknowns that give us the result values. For example, a plus b is equal to 8, a plus c equals 13, b plus d equals 8, and finally, c minus d is 6. Based on this information, can you find the values of a, b, c, and d, please? Pause the video and give the problem a try, and when done, return and watch the solution. Welcome back. So let's start by looking at some concepts. See the statement below, a is equal to 5. This is an equation since it talks about the equality of two expressions connected by an equal sign. This is a simple equation. We know that a equals to 5. Now consider another equation, a plus b is equal to 5. Again, this is an equation, but this time we have two unknowns. So what could their values be? Well, we have one equation and two unknowns, so in this case, there could be more than one value. Here are some. As you can see, we could have infinite number of solutions in this case. To be able to solve an equation like this, another equation needs to be used alongside it. That way, it is possible to find the only pair of values that solve both equations at the same time. Such equations are called simultaneous equations. Here's an example. Okay, now with this background, let's return back to our problem. We have four unknowns, A, B, C, and D. So we will need four equations to find their values. So let's jump into the problem. Looking at these two elements, we can say A plus B equals to eight. And looking at these two, we say A plus C equal to 13, these two tell us that b plus d equals to 8, and finally, c minus d equals 6. Now we have to be quick and smart here to use elimination and start finding our values. So we can look at these two equations, add both sides and say b plus c equals 14. And looking at these two equations and subtracting the second from the first, we can say b minus c equals minus 5. And again, since we have these fantastic equations, we look at these two equations and add both sides, which gives us 2b is equal to 9, which means b is equal to 4.5. And now things just keep falling into place. Using this equation, we can say a is equal to 3.5. And using this equation, we can get d, 3.5. And finally, using this equation, we get c, 9.5. Now, it's always a good idea to test our final values by replacing the values of A, B, C, and D in our original problem and checking if we get the results. I will leave this as an exercise for you. Okay, guys, this brings us to the end of the problem. Do let me know what you thought about it. If you have requests for different types of problems, let me know, and I'll happily include them in future videos. Thanks a lot, and keep safe.